um, there's a certain level of one confidence, mm -hmm. you know, but then the okay, case so say they're lacking the confidence. Um, do they want to be coached and pushed? You know, is it someone that for us, since we get to pick them, you know, it's like, hey, we're cooking dinner, we get to, we get to pick the groceries ourselves. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, is it someone that really wants to be pushed? Is it someone that maybe has uh they understand how good they can be, but they're scared to get there, you know, but they want someone to push them. They want to get outside of their comfort zone. Or is it someone who's just dialed, who's going to be able to help the guys around them? Um, get there because they have the confidence to go for it. Uh, those are big things. You know, it's amazing. It sounds cliche, but we watch the bench all the time. Um, say a kid goes in, struggles on the court, comes out. Is he one of those guys that goes and sits on the end or sits two seats away or keeps his head down or is only in his own deal? Or is he a kid that goes and sits right next to the coach or right in the middle of all of his teammates? Is he cheering for his teammates? Does he get more excited for someone else's success? Um, I mean, it sounds cliche, but we evaluate those things because those are the signs of someone who's going to be able to, to fight through adversity. And for every single, it doesn't matter if you're the number one recruit in the country, it's different when you get to college. Um, and so we need guys that can fight through that.